In this video, we will introduce you to our new home screen editor. We'll start with the blank template. Old layouts to choose from are on the top of the page. When you add icons, they appear here. The new thing is, you can upload icon background for default and pressed state. There are also options to hide icons or text. If you press this, Advanced Settings will appear just under Icons tab. You can hide tabs like this. This is the design of our app's home screen. Let's upload the background first. Back to our icons. What happens if we choose from Preset Layout now? We will lose all advanced settings, so be careful. To make our home screen accordingly to design, we need four icons. Let's rename them. To add your own icons, click here and go to My Icons. Note that you can upload more than one icon at once. Icon background for default and pressed state can be set for each icon separately, or if they're the same for all icons, you can just upload them here. In Colors and Fonts, we'll change our text color. And back to our home screen. Under Advanced Settings, there are some new options. Here, you can define the size of the icon grid, layout position, button size, icon margin, and scrolling type and direction. You can use this slider to change the button size, or just type in the number. To match our desired design, we need to move icons a bit apart by increasing icon margin. Downsize font a little and change it to Ubuntu. That's it! With our new home screen editor, you can get the design you wanted. For other information, visit our support page.